Hello everybody, in this lesson I will discuss the effect of P on a trig function. Where do we find P? Y is equal to sin bracket X plus P or Y is equal to cos bracket X plus P or Y is equal to tan bracket X plus P. The parameter P causes a horizontal shift of the sine, cosine and tan graph. If P is greater than zero, the graph shifts P degrees to the left. If P is smaller than zero, the graph shifts P degrees to the right. The period, shape and amplitude stay the same. Now the question says sketch the graph of y is equal to sin bracket x plus 30 for the interval x is an element 0 up to 360 degrees. So what we will do now is we will take every critical point and we will translate or shift 30 degrees to the left. Now you can look at the graph there the green one is the original sin graph, y is sin x, and then your blue graph is the graph y is equal to sin x plus 30. So you can see that the graph shifted to the left. Now let me show you how I got to that one. Our new critical points, remember the first critical point was at 0. So now you say 0 minus 30 is minus 30. So in fact, that means here at negative 30, your graph would have started. But our interval is from 0 up to 360. The next critical point was 90 minus 30 is 60. So that means, can you see, here at 60, our graph will turn for the first time. Then the, the next critical point was used to be at 180 minus 30, is equal to 150. That is why my graph cuts at 150 degrees. The next critical point, 270 degrees minus 30, is equal to 240 degrees. And there you can see my graph is turning at 240. And then the last critical point on the previous graph, the original, was at 360 minus 30 is 330 degrees and then you can see this is now where my graph will cut. Then you can also work out the y-intercept with the rule make x zero. Now to work out the y-intercept into the original formula that was given y is equal to sin x plus 30. You substitute in x's place zero and you end with y is sin 30 on your calculator is 0 0,5 and that is how I knew that this is the point um, 0 and 0 0,5 the y-intercept and then you can also calculate the end point now the end point is happening there at 360 degrees since it's they wanted the, for the interval 0 up to 360 so now into your original formula you substitute in x place 360 and you work it out with your calculator and you see the answer there this end point is the point 360 and 0 0,5 so it's very clear that this graph shifted to the left sketch the graph of y is equal to sin x minus 45 for the interval 0 up to 360. Now, if you look at the graph, the green one is the original sin graph, y is sin x, and then your red graph is your graph that's been translated or shifted 45 degrees to the right. Now, let's work out the new critical points. So, our first critical point used to be at 0, so now we say 0 plus 45 is 45. And it's very clear that now this is where your graph will cut the x-axis. The next critical point was at 90 plus 45 is 135. And there you can see the graph is indeed turning at 135 and 1. 
do you understand where the one comes from? If you look on top here, the AS value is invisible one. That's the amplitude. So that's why that's the point 135 and one. Then your next critical point used to be 180 plus 45 is 225. Now it cuts the 270 plus 45 is 315. And this is where your graph will turn. And you understand why it will turn at negative 1, because the amplitude is 1. And then at 360 plus 45 is 405 degrees. So if you sketch this one on, you will see that your graph ends there at 405. But for this graph, it, this graph is sketched for the interval 0 up to 360. So your graph has to stop there at 360. Again, we can work out the y-intercept, we make x0. So into the original formula, in x's place, we substitute 0. We end with y is in 0 minus 45, y is in minus 45. And with your calculator, y is minus 0, 0,7. And there you can clearly see this is the point 0 and minus 0, 0,7. And then to see what your endpoint is, your endpoint has to be at x is 360 degrees for this interval. Into the original formula, in x's place, you substitute 360 degrees minus the 45, and you end with y is negative 0,7. And there's your graph. It's very clear that your graph shifted 45 degrees to the right. Let's look at the cos graph. Sketch the graph of y is equal to cos bracket x plus 60 for the interval x is an element 0 up to 360. Now, again, if you look at the graph, you will see the green graph is y is equal to cos x. That's your original cos graph. And then the blue graph is the one that's been translated. y is cos x plus 60. Now, we will take every critical point and we will translate or shift 60 degrees to the left. Our first critical point, so now for the new critical points, the first one used to be at zero, at zero minus 60, so it's minus 60 degrees. So that means, in fact, yeah, at minus 60 degrees, this would be that point. If you would sketch your graph on for the negative um, angles there, but our interval was restricted to zero degrees. A next critical point, 90 degrees minus 60 is 30. So this is how I knew that my graph will cut there. 180 minus 60 is 120. So now my graph will turn at 120. And you understand why it turns at 120 and negative 1? This is the cost graph. A's value is 1. So the amplitude is 1. The next critical point used to be at 270. Minus 60 is 210. Therefore, my graph will cut at 210. And then 360 minus 60 is 300. Again, my amplitude will be there at 301. And then let's work out the y-intercept for this graph. Into the original formula, y is cos bracket x plus 60. In x's place, we substitute 0. y is cos 60 is 0, 0,5. And that's how I knew that this is the point 0, 0,5. And then your end point is at 360 degrees. Into the original formula, in x's place, you substitute 360 and you end with y is 0, 0,5. So this point over there will be the point 360 and 0, 0,5. And now, if you look at the graph, it's very clear that your graph shifted or translated 60 degrees to the left. Let's look at another cos graph. Sketch the graph of y is equal to cos bracket x minus 30 for the interval 0 up to 360 degrees. 
So what we will do, we will take every critical point and we will translate or shift 30 degrees to the right. So the new critical points. Okay, first of all, go to the graph and then you will see to the sketch on the sketch, the green graph is the y is equal to cos x. That's the original cos graph. And then the red one is the one that was translated or shifted to the right. Now, new critical points. 0 plus 30 is 30 degrees. So this is very clear that you can see my graph starts at 30 and 1. Where does the 1 come from? It's there, the number in front of the cos, it's the A value. So the next critical point used to be at 90. So now I say 90 plus 30 is 120. So now my graph will cut at 120 and 0. Then the next critical point used to be at 180 plus 30. Now it's 210. So that means my graph will turn at 210 and negative 1. You understand the one part. Then 270 plus 30 is 300. This is where my graph will cut. Last critical point was at 360 plus 30 is 390. So in fact, if you carry on with this graph, you will find 390 there. But remember, this one is sketched for the interval 0 up to 360. Now, let's look at the y-intercept. We make x0. When I make x0, I end with y is cos minus 30, and it's 0, 0,8. So this is why this graph of mine starts there at 0 and 0, 0,8. And then the end point for this interval is at 360 degrees. x is 360. So into the original formula, we substitute 360 and you see that point is y is 0, 0,8. So there, this is the point 0, 0,8, 360 and 0, 0,8. And then if you look at the graph, it's very clear that your graph was translated 30 degrees to the right. Let's sketch the graph of y is equal to tan bracket x plus 45 for the interval x is an element 0 up to 180. Now we will take every critical point and we will translate or shift 45 degrees to the left. So when you go to your sketch, you can see that the original graph is y is equal to tan x, that's the green graph, and then the blue graph, y is equal to tan x plus 45, that one shifted to the left. Now, the new critical points. First of all, can you remember your asymptote used to be at 90 degrees? Now you will say 90 degrees minus 45 is equal to 45 degrees and there's your new asymptote. Then your graph used to start at 0 degrees, now it will start at negative 45 degrees and 0, but remember that one falls outside of your interval. Let's look at that point. The y-intercept will make x0. Into the original formula, when you make x0, you end with y is equal to 1. That's why the y-intercept is 0 and 1. Your graph used to end at 180 degrees, but now it will rather cut at 135, shifted 45 degrees to the left. So that was the original point, and there's your 135. The x-intercept is then 135 degrees and 0. Your end point of this graph will be at 180 degrees and 1. Let's sketch the graph of y is equal to tan bracket x minus 45 for the interval x is an element 0 up to 180 degrees. Now again, we will take every critical point and we will translate or shift plus 45 degrees to the right. 
and they on the sketch you will see the green graph was the original tan graph and then the red one is the translated one where every critical point shifted 45 degrees to the right so the new critical points the asymptote used to be at 90 degrees so now there's your original graphs asymptote so now you will say 90 plus 45 is 135 and there you will see is your new asymptote remember the asymptote is in the middle of the two graphs your graph used to start at zero now it will start at zero and negative one for this interval we can even work out the y-intercept by making x zero so into the original formula y is than x minus 45 in x's place we substitute zero we end with y is negative one that's how i knew that was the point zero and negative one then your graph used to end at 180 degrees now it will end at 180 degrees and minus one for this interval there you can see and then your x intercept is at 45 degrees and zero in the next lesson i will discuss three exam questions on trig functions click on the video in the left hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson